I would like to take a look at the concepts of absolute and relative permittivities. Dielectric constant is another name for relative permittivity. Let's look back at the expression we had relating the electric flux density field to the electric field intensity and the polarization. Most dielectrics are linear, and by that we mean the polarization field is proportional to the electric field intensity inside the dielectric. We are going to write the proportionality constant between the polarization and the electric field intensity as chi sub m times epsilon sub zero, the permittivity of free space. Chi sub m is the electric susceptibility. So now let's substitute for the polarization field chi sub m epsilon sub zero times the electric field intensity. Doing that, we have this expression, and we're going to factor out the epsilon sub zero and the electric field intensity. To obtain the electric flux density field is equal to the permittivity of free space times 1 plus chi sub m times the electric field intensity. We will now rewrite 1 plus the electric susceptibility as epsilon sub r. Epsilon sub r is the relative permittivity. It's also referred to as the dielectric constant. This product of the permittivity of free space times the dielectric constant is sometimes rewritten as just epsilon. And epsilon is referred to as the absolute permittivity. For a linear dielectric, the effects of the polarization is contained in the absolute permittivity or the dielectric constant. The electric susceptibility and the dielectric constant are dimensionless quantities. The absolute permittivity is going to have the same units as the permittivity of free space, farads per meter. Shown in this table are some dielectric constants for various materials, and you can see the large range you can get in dielectric constants.